Coming out of the r blue corner, Derek Smith. You know, Mike, uh, I'm curious also to see the walkout songs. What do you have coming here? Well, Derek's an interesting guy, so I think he'll pick a good song. So Derek Smith goes by Red Delicious. He's 5'10", 180 pounds. He's a brawler. He's got a 10-7 record against absolute murderers. He is fighting out of the cellar in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And in 2009 was his first fight. He's got two UFC vets, two Bellator vets on his record. And he's also got two years of wrestling, Jeremy Bjornberg. You know, when you look at his corner there, you see Ben Locken, one of the best strength and conditioning coaches uh, and a fighter in the past uh, in, the, in the state. But also Pam Sorensen, former Invicta champion and Bellator superstar. Absolutely. <coughs> yeah, you know, uh, when Red Delicious sat down, I think that's, he's got a guy dressed like an apple in his corner. <laughs> um, yeah, when he sat down with us, there was a... Um, an air of confidence that you don't really get too often. Derek's a tough guy, and he's been fighting tough guys all his life, and he's been through a lot. I'm really excited to see the performance he puts together. He's been off a long time, but he's not unsharp. He always stayed in great shape. Man, look at that walkout shirt. Derek Smith has got that is absolutely fantastic. Derek should have wore that hat in the ring. That thing oh. is great. <laughs> I thought, uh, Jeremy, earlier, I told you, man, I think there's some dude from a kid's show running around here because I see a guy running around with an apple <laughs> on his head. That's the first time I've seen it. Man. I don't know how I missed it. <laughs> he's been walking around here. Huh. I'm like, either this guy's on some sort of watch list or he's from a children's show yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> Derek Smith, man, I'll tell you this right now. Like I said, he's looking at this as an opportunity, and he's excited about this fight. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, coming to the cage, Zach Otto. Zach Otto, the barbarian. He's 5'11", 180 pounds, with a 19-7 and seven record, with an additional 6-1 amateur record out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A famed gym known as Pura Vida Jiu-Jitsu, where he is half owner, being walked in by the other owner, Jake Clip. Yeah, and... uh. Also, uh, uh, Solo Acosta in the corner. Um, I don't know, like I said, we've said it before, Milwaukee's one of the best fight ci cities in the world. Well, Jeremy, you, I mean, you, in essence, you've got the Green Bay Packers up there, which yeah, it's three I mean, hours it, it away. Is just, it is a state it filled with, I think, just loves sports. Green Bay Packers don't even qualify to have a football team based on pop, like, populace, and it's one of the most successful gyms in the entire NFL. I mean, they love sports up there. And Zach yeah, Otto? I mean, is just a proud representative of that state. Derek's into it, he's having fun. I think he's got the right attitude for this fight and I think he's a very live underdog against Zach. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of underdogs, mybookie.ag, if you use the promo code MMAFUT, you get twice the money you put down, I should say, you get a time and a half, so it, or you put down $1,000, ladies and gentlemen, you get an additional $1,000 in your account, by using the co co promo code MMAFUT at mybookie.ag. All right, guys, introducing our first fighter, fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, sponsored by HK Minnesota Fire Engine 17, Armitage Homes, Revival Physical and Wellness and Prohibition. Barbers, a brawler tipping the scales at 178 pounds, wearing the red trunks, fighting out of the cellar gym with a record of 10 wins with seven defeats. Derek Red Delicious Smith! And his opponent out of the red corner, fighting out of a Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A mixed martial artist, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. 
a UFC veteran tipping the scales in at 180 pounds, fighting out of Pura Vida Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with a record of 19 wins in seven setbacks, Zach the Barbarian Otto! Your referee for Dan. this title bout is Chris Claviter. You've got uh, Solo Acosta in the corner of Zach Otto, very vocal, pumping him up. We've got uh, Derek Smith in the red and white Hayabusa trunks. And we got Zach Otto in the black trunks with the uh, white light writing. These two gentlemen square off. You know, Zach's last fight, he fought at 205, was it, Mike, against a tough guy? He just stood and banged the whole fight. Derek Smith has came into uh, very aggressive. He, yeah, he's not afraid. Oh, nice right hand by Zach. Nice kick by Derek. Another nice kick. Yeah, Derek, Derek Smith is very aggressive in this bout. Yeah, for somebody that hasn't fought since 2014, uh, you know what? Derek Smith is, is kind of laughing about that. I believe that leg kick actually really hurt him, that calf kick. Zach's a very powerful guy. Yeah, very compact. Ooh. Head kick by Zach Otto. Don't laugh about that one. Derek's coming right at him, though. Wow, nice head kick. kick by head oh, kick nice with uppercut. an uppercut by... I, I like, am curious to see you with the wrestling Derek's aspect here. Um, I think that Zach may have underestimated Derek's wrestling. Um, it is really good. Zach's is excellent. Well, I'm looking at Derek Smith, and he is in phenomenal shape. He is. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Head, the, the punch and kick by Zach Otto was not taken very well by Derek Smith. Derek Smith is having some issues right now. Zach's showing some power, and he's showing that pedigree. Derek's staying on him, though. Derek Smith is uh, hes throwing just heaters right now. He is. Zach's nose is a little red there, tip of the nose. He's definitely did a did little bit of damage. Um, he's been a little reckless, though, when Zach's taking a nice spinning back wow. fist try. Spinning back fist by oh, Smith. Elbow. Knee to the by body Zach. by Zach Otto. With a punch to the face. A little, little swelling, a little cut above the uh, the right eye of Derek Smith. Derek's listening to his corner, doing a good job. Oh, he checked for blood, and it is bleeding. It's right on the eyelid. Yeah, Derek's keeping a good eye on things. <laughs> good. Good to see you, Derek. <laughs> Having a good time? <laughs> Yeah, we love having Derek. What a character. He thanked us for having us back while he's in the middle of tango with the UFC vet and a yeah. fresh cut in his I, eye. What I, a I'm guy. I'm sitting here saying, hey, Jeremy, please don't. <laughs> please don't respond. Let, let the fight. Yeah, Derek Smith, absolutely just in incredible shape. Talking to Zach Otto as well. Zach's all business in there. Oh, guillotine. Trying to Zach get his neck. Nice, nice, nice knee in the mix. I think that that cut on the eyelid of uh, Derek Smith is going to come into play in well, between rounds. The doctor's going to have to take a look at it. I hope they've got a cut man in his corner. It's, it's, it's in a nasty spot. Derek Smith has got this round, I believe. That cut that he's got, that Derek Smith has over his uh, his right eye, it's nasty. Hopefully he can, they can control the bleeding, but yes, look it's at in Derek, the wrong spot. Look at Derek Smith pushing the fight, pushing Zach Otto into his corner so he can listen to the instructions. By Ben Locken. Body punches by Derek Smith. Zach Otto is just, you know, he's, oh, jumping guard is Zach Otto for going for a guillotine. And that is tight, Jeremy, that is tight. Zach Otto wow. got it. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the cut over Zach, look at the cut over Derek Smith's eye. Hell of a fight. Uh, you know, Zach's just pedigree, uh, he was able to, Weather the storm, stay super calm. Never was nervous a bit, you know. And uh, Derek, Derek put on a great performance. I can't wait to have him back either. But uh, you know, uh, great job by Derek, just stepping up like this. And um, you know, not a drop of quitting him. That guillotine was tight. Absolutely. Zach got to you know stay calm the whole time. He's got oh. Jay Clip in his corner. I mean, he was just he's not even breathing hard, you know. And Derek Smith was throwing heavy, heavy leather. Oh yeah. You know, he was throwing heaters the whole time. He really forced the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by guillotine choke, Zach the Barbarian Otto. Zach Otto, were you surprised at the aggressiveness of your opponent, Derek Smith? No, I, I 
Derek's been around for a hell of a long time, like me. And I've seen him fight before. I know he's going to come bringing it. So I'm just trying to stay patient, not try to go up to that level, stay composed. And as the fight went on, I thought maybe there would be some opportunities for a finish. And I snapped on one and, you know, got it. So. Yeah, you saw it coming. Now, your goal is to get back into the UFC ring, or cage, I should say. How far away are you, do you think? I hope that's going to get me in. You know, that's three in a row, another finish over a really, really tough dude. So hopefully the next fight's UFC. Yeah, I mean, if, if you look at Derek's record, he's got two Bellator vets, two UFC vets. That guy is a cagey veteran and no slouch, and you finished him in the first round. Did you expect the finish to come, like, so quickly? Uh, I, I don't expect anything. I mean, I've been around for a while. I, you know, I, I don't, like, predict things or anything like that, but... I knew that there'd be a, a, an opportunity for finish, and I, I finish people, especially on the regional level, I, I tend to finish everybody, so as soon as uh, the opportunity came, I took it, and it's it. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Otto.